Hey, it is your girl Jordan of Lil Miss JB Style back with another video and this week we are talking about what? Loungewear, yas. We want to be cozy, we want to be comfortable, but you want to be cute. You're in the right place. I have got you covered, okay? If you are new, I am Jordan of Lil Miss JB Style. I have been a fashion blogger for over seven years, your pear-shaped shorty guru, okay? where to find the fits, how to make it work for you, how to kind of shop with intention. That's what I talk about here. Crazy enough, my most popular pin on Pinterest is like of loungewear, like of a post I did back in like 2017, 2018. Like, so I know a thing or two, like people love my loungewear. Before we get into it though, make sure you go ahead not only to hit that subscribe button, but turn on the bell notification because you do not want to miss a video from your girl. We share all kinds of new in, how to wear, ways to wear, maximizing your wardrobe, outfit ideas, all kinds of fashion advice, plus some travel and beauty, stuff like that. So make sure you turn on the notification to not miss a thing. Also, if you don't, you can follow me on my social. Here is my handle. I am on Instagram, which is more outfit of the day inspiration. TikTok, not only some dances, but mini vlogs, that kind of stuff, a little bit more personal there. And then also I am on Pinterest and you can get not just what I'm wearing, but things that are inspiring me as well. So you can kind of see that. With that, I'm gonna show you my loungewear collection, what I wear, where it is from. And I will say a lot of my loungewear is outdated. I absolutely don't even apologize. I don't buy loungewear all that often to be honest because I really just need like one set maybe a year, maybe. So a lot of the stuff you're gonna see is old, but don't you worry, I have scoured the internet to try and find similar pieces in case there is something you love and you want something similar for your own wardrobe. I've done my best to link it in the description below. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go in order from like summer cause we're still kind of in a little bit of a heat wave down to like winter loungewear to give you all kinds of ideas of like what's out there and what works. This very first set is from Forever 21, the leopard print. You already knew it was coming. You know I love to walk on the wild side, love a little bit, love a little rah rah. You know, I just love that stuff. So this set is from Forever 21. I bought it a while ago. And what I really just love about this is it's actually super breathable, but there's tons of stretch, which is so important when you're thinking about loungewear because it's not just about being cute. You actually wanna be comfortable, right? Otherwise you're really not gonna wear any of this stuff. And that's, where, and that's why I find a lot of people actually like end up in just like sweats and things like that because they don't take a second to really try on these clothes to try on like these sets that they plan to kind of be cute in to make sure they're gonna be comfortable enough to wear around. So honestly, I wear it just like this, especially when it's hot, I might even Winnie the Pooh it with just the top and then like not even some shorts and some underwear and then like a little bit of the slippers, which are from Amazon. Um, I have no shame. That's how we like to do things because your girl is hot and I, you know, don't mind showing off the body. So this is a really cute summer set. Something like this would be really great, obviously when it's hot out. But I will say like this isn't a loungewear set that I would like leave the house in. This next romper you have seen, it is from Bird B. It is in my jumpsuit video. It is in my fall outfits video. I was surprised, okay, I will not lie. I definitely like being a little insecure in my body, really not like loving, loving the stomach, you know, cause she not flat, flat, she cute, but she not flat, flat. Like, I really veered away from like skin tight clothes when it came to loungewear. Like, honestly, I don't even lounge in like leggings, but this, it's so comfortable. And I will say like the really big key here is obviously having the right amount of stretch and you want to pay attention to the seams. I don't think enough people talk about this. Like the seams sometimes do not have stretch. So when you are trying on rompers like this, make sure that there's actually going to be stretch where the seams are because I noticed some brands don't use stretchy thread, which is so, so weird. But this I got in a size medium. It is something I honestly like to wear not only around the house, but as you've seen in my other videos, I will dress it up to leave the house in. So this is the kind of loungewear I like to shop for. It's stuff that is versatile. You guys know I love to get the most out of my clothes. It's not a one-time wear type deal. So this is like one of those pieces that I was super surprised, but I'm finding I wear a lot, a lot, both around the house and out and about. Another option is a cute like jumpsuit, bodysuit type thing. Again, leopard print, you should not, shouldn't even be a surprise, right? Like, shouldn't be a surprise. So this, I can't even remember the brand of. I remember just like running across it on Instagram. And honestly, this I this particular brand and this fit, I wouldn't recommend, but I do like the concept. I love the scoop neck. The fabric is super soft. I will say the tie waist that you see, you can't actually like adjust it. It's just elastic and the elastic is what it is. And I will say that the sewing was a little poorly done, but overall, this is something super comfy, like still fitted to kind of be sexy, you know, show off the body in case you got bae at home, you know, you want to look a little cute, cute, but also crazy, crazy comfortable. This I haven't left the house in, but if I would risk it, like I would say under like a leather trench coat or something like that, you could maybe make this look actually low key like badass, but 
this is definitely like i i would not leave my house <laughs> Before we get into the rest of the loungewear, I'm really, really wondering where you like to shop for loungewear. Personally, I find really, really good knitwear and loungewear at ASOS. Nasty Gal can be hit or miss. I will say like, take that with a grain of salt, but also H&M is actually really, really stepping it up, especially in their like knitwear game. Totally, totally recommend. But I really wanna know where is your favorite lounge outfit from? Comment below. Next, this is the top part and I will show you both. You've seen this matching set. It is from Pretty Little Thing. Honestly, when it's hot out, I would just wear the shirt dress as is by itself. It is super breathable and I probably wouldn't even wear anything underneath because really, I like to be naked. Like I'd be naked in my house. Like no shame, booty butt cheeks flowing everywhere. But you know, when you have some people over or I don't want to get dog hair in my hoo-ha, you know, a shirt dress is honestly like during the hot days, something I wear very, very often. And this one from Pretty Little Thing is super breathable, but really, really chic. And then here's the actual set. I got the top in a size four and the bottoms in a size six, super surprised. What I love about it is it's got a lot of stretch to it too, which is like super, again, important. I talk about this a lot. Like you wanna make sure you're buying stuff that's comfortable and I just find things that have stretch or room for you to just kind of like move around in tend to just be more comfortable and I just wear more often. So this is something I could easily dress up and you have seen it on the blog. Like I could dress up, leave the house in this, no problem. But I also do not mind just like chilling in the house, relaxing in this either. As the temperatures start to cool, I reach for more knitwear to lounge around the house. And I just love like a wide leg pant, like bralette combo. So something like this, you will see me wear a lot now that it's fall. The bralette is from Nasty Gal, which I'm really surprised, super comfortable. I think I got it in a small and like, I'm not wearing any padding in there. So like pear shaped shorties who don't have a lot going on up there. Like this was a wave, this was a vibe. And then the wide leg pants I got from a local boutique called Bataya. I love, love, love them. But you can see sets like this, like pants like this on ASOS and on H&M. They have tons of options. And even Mango has a couple of cute sets. This is really what I would wear more as the weather starts to cool. It's breathable, it's flowing. What I love is something like this. I could easily throw on a jacket and run some errands really, really quick. But I can easily lounge around in the house. As you can like sense my theme, I like stuff that is versatile. I like stuff that I can wear at home just as much as I'll wear it out and about. Like that's super important for me. So this next set is the most clicked on pin that I have and this is from ASOS. I got this like four years ago. My mom got it for me as a birthday present and I love, love, love it. You have like the really nice knit top, the nice knit bottoms, super wide. Like they are a moment. I understand why people love this. It has been sold out. I apologize. But this is something like, this is one of the first kind of like chic loungewear sets that I bought. And then I started to really like get that understanding of, oh yeah, I really just love pieces that I can throw on. They are cozy and I can like chill in them, but I could also take them outside of the house. So when I get a little bit cold in this set, because this is like really good for fall, as it gets into winter, I will actually swap out for this cute crop sweatshirt I got from Storettes. And I will say like, that is one of the things I love to keep in mind as I'm looking at things is how I can mix it and match it with what I own. So this Storette's crop top works just as well with like some regular pants as it does like to chill around the house. And I really, really love this. And like this, I could easily leave the house in and it is a fit. Last but not least, in the same vein of like the knitwear and that kind of stuff, I have this crop top, which is from Forever 21. And then these knit pants also from Forever 21. Very, very chill, very, very flowy, but when it gets really, really cold, like really, really cold, I like to layer with like an oversized cardigan. This is from Misguided. I'm so surprised. Their cardigan game like was surprisingly good. I got two different cardigans from them over two years ago and they have retained their shape. They're super soft because sometimes with knitwear, if you choose the wrong combination of materials, they get really scratchy and really rough if you don't take care of them. But I am surprised at how well this has held up. So this is definitely something that, again, like if you really want to go run an errand, you could, but this is super cozy, like sipping my favorite tea, chilling, watching like a bunch of reruns of just like Bob's Burgers or something. This is like an easy lounge around the house outfit. That is my entire collection, minus like one matching sweatsuit. I totally forgot to film it and I can't even find a picture of it. And it's sold out, so I just figured we'd scrap the whole thing. But when it comes to loungewear, as you guys can see, I really love stuff that just you can chill around the house but I could easily wear out. And I feel that way about basically everything I bring into my wardrobe. Like everything I wear is like super comfortable. If it's not comfortable and I don't feel like I could just lounge and chill and sit in it, I don't want it. Because I recognize how important that is to whether or not I'm gonna wear a piece. So keep that in mind as you're looking at pieces and you are shopping for pieces, like understanding like what materials you like, if you like things with stretch or you don't mind things that are stiffer, those kinds of things are all gonna make a difference as like what you should be buying as well as how much you're actually gonna wear a piece. 
with that if you found this helpful you should go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter because i share all kinds of new and pieces sales tips and tricks to wear what you own and maximize your wardrobe and really get the most out of the clothes that you own and build a closet that you just love so you always can slay look flawless and feel confident like that's what i want to do for you if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, make sure you not only give me that thumbs up, but subscribe to your girl because you do not want to miss a video. You want to get all the tea and you want to be a baddie. I got you. I got you. With that, thank you so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.